the genotype Europhenotype distinction is drawn in genetics. Genotype is an organism's full hereditary information. Phenotype is an organism's actual observed properties, such as morphology, development, or behavior. This distinction is fundamental in the study of inheritance of traits and their evolution. It is the organism's physical properties which directly determine its chances of survival and reproductive output, while the inheritance of physical properties occurs only as a secondary consequence of the inheritance of genes. Therefore, to properly understand the theory of evolution via natural selection, one must understand the genotype europhenotype distinction. The genes contribute to a trait, and the phenotype is the observable expression of the genes. Say a white mouse had the recessive genes that caused the genes that caused the color of the mouse to be inactive. Its genotype would be responsible for its phenotype. The mapping of a set of genotypes to a set of phenotypes is sometimes referred to as the genotype europhenotype map. An organism's genotype is a major influencing factor in the development of its phenotype, but it is not the only one. Even two organisms with identical genotypes normally differ in their phenotypes. One experiences this in everyday life with monozygous twins. Identical twins share the same genotype, since their genomes are identical. But they never have the same phenotype, although their phenotypes may be very similar. This is apparent in the fact that their mothers and close friends can always tell them apart, even though others might not be able to see the subtle differences. Further, identical twins can be distinguished by their fingerprints, which are never completely identical. The concept of phenotypic plasticity describes the degree to which an organism's phenotype is determined by its genotype. A high level of plasticity means that environmental factors have a strong influence on the particular phenotype that develops. If there is little plasticity, the phenotype of an organism can be reliably predicted from knowledge of the genotype regardless of environmental peculiarities during development. An example of high plasticity can be observed in larval newts 1, when these larvae sense the presence of predators such as dragonflies, they develop larger heads and tails relative to their body size and display darker pigmentation. Larvae with these traits have a higher chance of survival when exposed to the predators, but grow more slowly than other phenotypes. In contrast to phenotypic plasticity, the concept of genetic canalization addresses the extent to which an organism's phenotype allows conclusions about us genotype. A phenotype is said to be canalized if mutations do not noticeably affect the physical properties of the organism. This means that a canalized phenotype may form from a large variety of different genotypes, in which case it is not possible to exactly predict the genotype from knowledge of the phenotype. If canalization is not present, Small changes in the genome have an immediate effect on the phenotype that develops. The terms genotype and phenotype were created by Wilhelm Johansen in 1911. External links Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy Entry, Wilhelm Johansen's Genotype Phenotype Distinction at the Embryo Project Encyclopedia, References